Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to Teacher Talk Tuesday. This is your host, Dr. Yvonne Henderson. Tonight, I would like to talk about staying motivated. We are coming to the end of the school year, and even though we are still remote and trying to continue the educational process for our students, we still need to be able to stay motivated. Sometimes we can get tired. Sometimes we just feel like we're just doing more than what the students are trying to accomplish. But we have to just keep in mind that though for those students who are actually coming in and showing up, that we need to stay motivated. We need to stay on point. We need to continue teaching and we need to continue letting them know that we care. I have had the most awesome time with my students during this remote time um, for the last few weeks. And I have my office hours at 9 a.m. And when I tell you I have three students who are consistent in coming in at 9 o'clock and staying with me on that live until 10 o'clock for the whole complete hour because they don't want me to be by myself. When I tell you the motivation that I get from those students to keep me going and to keep me bringing my best and bringing my A game is impeccable. I don't know if I could do it without them. They motivate me and they probably don't even realize it. That has just been such an awesome time that we've had time to actually reflect on things that they like to do and being a little bit more personable and understanding each other. I have one child who constantly asks me every time she gets on the live if I've had breakfast. How did you sleep last night? You look tired. Did you get some rest? You have to take a nap. I mean, she is just always always encouraging me to be my best self. So it it just really makes it easy for me to continue doing what I do for these students until the end of the school year. Um, They are so engaged in the story that we're reading. We're reading the hate, the hate you give. And the one student was just so enthused about the story that she read the whole book, all 26 chapters in the first week. And it's just been amazing. The discussions that we've had, the um, topics that we've pulled out of that book to help them understand life. And today we had a lesson about change agents and we talked about Malaya, um, I'm sorry, Marley Diaz and um, Malala and their plight and what they did for young women and young girls in education and how they stood up and how they took a stand, how they were change agents for the educational process at a young age. And they were just so intrigued and so thrilled about that story and the fact that I brought it to them and to show them that they could do something different. Not only doing something different, but letting people know that you matter. Not just Black Lives Matter, but all lives matter and we can make a difference. And these two young ladies went out on a limb and decided to do something to change their educational process. Um, Malala in, in Pakistan, the girls weren't allowed to be educated. This young lady was brave. She got shot in the face, was in a coma for a week. And her story was that it didn't stop her. It motivated her. It, it it made her stronger and it made her realize that what she was fighting for had life and it was important. It was important enough for someone to try to take her out. So she had to continue. Um, Marley went on a, a search or created um, a book club where she was trying to, well, she it was a club that she did. It was called um, Hashtag A Thousand Black Girls Book Club. And she was trying to find books that represented her culture and represented her because she was tired of reading books in school, dealing with little white boys with blonde hair and blue eyes and their dog. 
Uh, she said in one interview that if it had just been one story that she would have been able to read in school that was about a black girl and her dog, she probably wouldn't have even started the campaign. But because there weren't any books that was being read in her school about people of color or young black girls of color, she went on a campaign to find this and she was determined to find it. And as of today, she has found over 11,000 books or received over 11,000 books about black girls and their stories as the main character and has contributed to different schools. And a lot of schools have adopted some of the books that she's used or found to help engage other young African-American girls to want to read. These are the things that we need to inspire our students to be able to do. Be able to see who you are, understand who you are, embrace who you are in this day and age, and stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for your rights. Find something that helps you to feel good about yourself and try to share that with the world. We have to be able to educate our young black and brown students on every level for them to feel empowered to be able to go and do what they need to do. We've been in this culture for so long and every textbook that we've read, every story that have been pushed down our throats have been about the European culture and what they have going on. But we have a story and it's bigger than slavery. It's bigger than the civil rights movement. We have things that are going on. We have doctors, we have lawyers, we have all astronauts, we have mathematicians, we have scientists who are black and our students need to know that. We need to be able to give our students something that is going to motivate them and to keep them wanting to learn and not be turned away by the educational system. So on today, th this is just where I am in ending this year is understanding that we need to continue to give our students something to look forward to in their plight, in their fight to be who they are. Thank you for joining me. This has been your host, Dr. Yvonne Henderson, and you have been listening to Teacher Talk Tuesday. If you have any questions or if you just like to join me one day, you can reach me at Teacher Talk Tuesday at gmail.com and that is T-E-A-C-H-E-R T-A-L-K the number 2 U-E-S-D-A-Y at gmail.com drop me a line say something or just comment and say you enjoyed the, the broadcast podcast thank you for listening to Teacher Talk Tuesday and again this has been your host Dr. Yvonne Henderson Thank you.